What is going on everybody? Mattitude22 here with another figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends Warlock Build-A-Figure Wave Shatterstar figure. Now this, there is a lot of good stuff going on with this figure. A lot of different stuff. The first thing that stands out is this shoulder piece and this head piece are, are sculpted in this nice brown like leathery color. It looks really nice. Stands out very, very well. All the all the little details really make this guy nice. Like the gray on the gloves is 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 really nice. It's all painted very well. Well, I guess it's molded in that color, but it still looks fairly well. The scarf is just another solid gray molded piece, but they did a nice job in adding some ruffles in it, so it kind of kind of gives you a nice effect looks really good the hair tie is the same gray as well and on the leg here we got this piece which is molded in that same gray plastic now looking at the boots however they are actually two colors so you have the base of the boots which are molded in that same gray plastic but then they're painted silver like right up here and around that looks very good. All in all, the paint on this guy is really nice. The black star is has a silver border, so that it's kind of hard to see. Kind of see it a little. Looks nice. Stands out really nice. Looking at his hair, they did a nice job in. It, it looks like it's supposed to be red. Like it, it's not the it's not the best representation. It looks like red, kind of like a light, maybe like a light brown, like a reddish brown. But it does look nice, sculpted really well all through. Nice, does look nice, and I guess you could say it's somewhat articulated. Not really, but kind of. You can kind of put it like that if you wanna. Maybe have him look into the side. Maybe it looks like his hair is blowing. That's not too bad. Now, I'm not too familiar. This is one of the few characters I'm not too super familiar with. So, under, on the eye, around the eye, it's this painted black. They did a really nice job. Really, really nice job with that. That looks really well, and you could see it really well. If, if that's, I don't know if that's something to do, like, with his power or whatever. If you know, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, you can drop some knowledge on this video the belt has lots of nice pouches they painted the buckle silver which looks pretty good I guess like I'm all like come on I'm always asking for more paint I'm always asking for more of this I feel like uh, all these little pouches could have used maybe a little touch of silver but they did paint the buckle so I can't complain too much the black on the side side is painted really clean there's no rub, no bleeding through. So that definitely, definitely looks official. Definitely looks good. Looking at his articulation head, you get side to side. And on his neck, it's on the, the, the ball, or not the ball, the disc peg on the neck. So you get pretty far back and pretty, not pretty far forward. Ab crunch get a good degree down and a lot of backwards so that looks good arms your standard ball peg now here mine is a little stiff this piece feels very soft I don't think it'll necessarily inhibit the articulation I think again mine is just soft so this one doesn't move past that point but same with this one again I don't necessarily think this will impede the articulation I think mine is just stiff but you get the upper arm swivel that looks good wrist hinge wrist rotation you get the waist twist looks not too bad and kinda yeah even when you even when you twist it the paint still looks good nothing rubbing off so I like that ball hips come out to here legs moves this far forward and you get that much back oh, this piece is loose but that's okay that's not too bad i don't mind that you get the 
upper leg swivel that looks okay double jointed knee did i mention the double jointed elbows i think i did maybe i didn't he has double jointed elbows double jointed knees ankle pivot ankle rocker works pretty well and as far as accessories he comes with these swords which he holds nicely they're molded in this gray kind of silver plastic that looks good could have used a little paint maybe on the handle but this part looks good the on the hand the hand shield whatever you want to call it the spikes looks good now for the swords one of them has one blade and the other sword is basically the same except it has two blades i can't say i'm i know why again i'm not super familiar with this figure if you know let me know in the comments but both swords do look good so all in all i gotta say this guy is worth a pickup definitely will fit in nice with your x-men collection and i think all in all you're, you're 25 bucks well is it i don't know i think it's 20 bucks in the states up here in canada it's more like 30 it will definitely be worth your money whether you're spending $20 or $30, it's definitely a nice pickup. I say go out and get this figure. And I say that you should like this video. If you feel like it, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys next time with another action figure review. Peace.